Jen. It's Thursday, January 8th, and welcome to This Week at the MCC. This week with me is the next guest on the Day in the Life series with Fred Hacker and James Labrie, frontman for Dream Theater and the James Labrie Band. So thanks for being here, James. Yeah, thank you. So you come from Midland, and mm -hmm. you've made it to international stardom. Mm -hmm. Did you always know that music was going to be your career, or? I think I was tenacious enough to want to, you know, do everything that it took to, to see it fulfilled. Um, uh, you know, I knew at a very young age, around five years old, is when I started singing, and I was also playing drums at that age, and I was just captivated by music. Period. And uh, I grew up in a very musical home, and. Music was playing all the time. We had piano, there was guitars, and uh, so I was, you know, exposed to it on a constant basis, everyday basis. So it was just something I think that naturally I, I gravitated towards, and um, I know that by the time I was 10 and 12 years old, it was just everything that I thought about. In fact, you know, kind of daydreaming in school <laughs> was my problem. You know, <laughs> I got through school, it was good, you know, but yeah, it, uh, it interfered or yeah, monopolized my time, yeah, oh. for sure. So, coming from Midland, when you find yourself back in Midland, do you mm -hmm. get the sort of hometown boy feel, or do you have those starstruck people approach you, or what's that yeah, interaction it's a, like? It's it's a bit of both, you know. I think for the for the most part, um, my wife and I we've retained friends that we did grow up with around here, um, as well as yeah, I do encounter when I'm out and various stores, uh, people come up and say, hi James, and how you doing, can I get your autograph, and, and it's good, like, everyone is, is really uh, low-key and respectful, so I think that's what makes it uh, okay, you know, but it, it is kind of, um, you know, I think if anything, um, living back in the area, it just reminds you of your humble beginnings, you know, and it keeps everything grounded, and I think fortunately enough, I never really forgot that. You know, uh, being able to, to do what, what we've done and sell almost 15 million albums and tour around the world, uh, that's fantastic. It's incredible and sometimes I shake my head and go, wow, I really did, you know, make this happen. Um, but at the same time, I don't forget and it, it's helped me remain who and what I've always been and just, I want to be real, you know. And mm -hmm. um, I think being around people that know me as my previous self, you know, as Kevin and not as James, uh, that's, that's a good reminder, yeah. And so what's next for Dream Theater? Uh, Dream Theater, we'll go back into the studio in New York in February mm -hmm. and start writing and recording and uh, usually that's uh, about a five month period of doing that. Uh, Monday to Friday we take our weekends off. And then um, hopefully there will be a late fall next uh, in 2015 release and we don't want to start touring until 2016 to support that so we'll engage and and start another uh, world tour probably right around this time next year yeah awesome mm -hmm. and do you work on your solo project the, the James Lavery band simultaneously? yeah uh, yeah I have done that in the past and um, at this point we're not um, walking in anytime soon to start writing or anything like that, but but that can always change within a month or two. Um, we will see how we feel. Um, I don't want to have the next James Labrie album come out until um, it would coordinate itself so that Dream Theater's tour is starting to wind down. The album comes out, it sets that up, and then I'd like to do uh, a fairly extensive tour with the, with the solo band. That's great. Because uh, we haven't done a tour with us since 2005, so it's well overdue. Yeah. And to close us out, what would your advice be to um, young musicians here in Midland or in other rural areas uh, or in all over Canada and the world? Yeah. What, what would your advice be? Well, I think first and foremost, be honest with yourself. I think, you know, we all know at the end of the day if we have something that's unique, if we are really, really exceptional at what we're trying to put out there as an artist, whether you're a singer, piano player, guitar player, com composer, or whatever. I mean, if you know for sure, and you do, um, that you have what it takes to be on the world stage, then by all means do, you know, and be uh, 
tenacious once again, you know, and stick with it and do what it takes to, to get recognized, to get noticed. I think the beauty of today is that um, the young artists of today, they have technology at their fingertips. Mm -hmm. They can record themselves, put it out on YouTube. Uh, if the right person sees that, you know, it's the catalyst to, to getting themselves into a position to get a label deal and to get a release and to start being recognized. Um, so, you know, I think it just comes down to if you think you have it, believe in yourself and, and stay dedicated and do all that it takes to, to get to that point where there's the recognition and reality, you know, with your aspirations. Yeah. That's great. So you can check out more with James Labrie on Wednesday, January 14th in his interview with Fred Hacker as the next guest in the Day in the Life series at 7.30. The MCC is pleased to kick off its Winter Blues series this Sunday, January 11th at 8pm in the MCC's Rotary Hall when Jack the Kaiser brings his Evolution of Blues guitar show here to Midland. Don't miss this fantastic foray into the evolution of blues music performed by a master. The Day in the Life with James Labrie is on Wednesday, January 14th at 7.30pm. It's going to be a fantastic show and tickets are flying out the door, folks, but don't wait to get your tickets. They're just $19 and $10 for students. The next family scene on screen film is Magic by the Moonlight on Monday, January 19th at 10.30 a.m. Adults are $3 and kids are absolutely free. On a community note, if one of your New Year's resolutions was to get more involved in the community, there are many organizations throughout Midland that rely on the help of volunteers to get by. You can volunteer for Gateway Learning Center, the Community Living Caronia, Karma Marketplace, or right here at the MCC. Visit these organizations' websites for more information on how to get involved. For more information, full event listings, and to purchase tickets, visit us at the MCC box office at 333 King Street, or visit us on the web at yourmcc.ca. That's it for this week. Take care, and have a great week.